In step 3.7, we will discuss about how to audit and validate password encryption. As a best practice, password should not be stored in plain text. Also, let us first check what are the requirements of information security policy. So, this is the information security policy of the organization and we need to find clause related to encryption. Clause 19 is about password storage and transmission wherein we have two requirements about encryption. First one is password must be kept or saved in an encrypted format. Okay. Second requirement is password must be encrypted or hashed when transmitting over the network and in storage. Okay. So now let us again go back to database. As an IS auditor, you need to know the basic difference between encryption and hashing. Encryption is the process of converting a normal readable message into an unreadable format, which is also known as cipher text. Whereas, hashing is the process of converting the message into a unique code known as hash code. Please note that this hash code cannot be converted back into original message. Basic difference between encryption and hashing is that a message if encrypted can be decrypted and converted back to the original message. However, when a message is converted into a code, hash code, it cannot be reversed back to the original message. Organization can either use encryption or hash code to store the password. The question is how you will validate whether password are encrypted or hashed. For that, you need to ask your system administrator to open the dashboard of the application or database. Let me show you how it will look on screen. So, here you can see passwords are hashed. So, if passwords are encrypted or hashed, you can view only some numbers and character. You cannot view password in plain text. For your easy reference, you can download this screenshot as reference document number 7 from resource section of Udemy. Now let us assume that we have validated this for all the database and found them to be complied. So we need to ask system administrator to show the backend of all the database. Okay, so with this we complete step 3.7. Thanks for watching.